I got my start with research by going out with my dad on Saturday mornings and weighing pigs and he had a swine research uh, thing there at Oklahoma State. And I've, I came to animal science through research not through the 4-H or anything like that. So it makes me a little different in terms of what I, what I see, you know, because I was very interested in, you know, in how genetics worked and that sort of thing. So uh, I just kind of fell into it, if you put it that way. Dave, in uh, gain testing these bulls, have you found it generally to be true that the fastest gaining bulls were also the tallest and the more rangy bulls? I guess that it was the time for performance to start being talked about and done something about. And I can't emphasize enough the importance of, of this Beef Improvement Federation. We had all these BCIAs for every state, and they were doing a little different things, but similar. And uh, it really wasn't the right way to do things. But uh, Frank and I got to talking, and, and I said, look, Frank, there's this phenomenal loyalty within these breeds we might as well capitalize on it and use the breed associations as the, the seat of the performance stuff. So we had two good cards to start with. We had, had this innate loyalty and the interest in a particular type of cattle, the breed. And uh, were able to develop then national sire evaluation and all the things that BIF put together. And uh, when we finished the guidelines for sire evaluation in '71, I went down to to uh, Lloyd Miller, who was then uh, the head, and I says, "We've got to." We got the guidelines, let's put one together. And we proceeded to put together a designed sire evaluation. And I'll never forget Kenneth Moore was the, uh, was the president that year. I had presented this program to the board. And then, you know, I got questions, and, but Kenny Moore stood up in that meeting and he says, I want to make two motions. He says, the first motion is that we open AI. There's two ways to open AI. One painful step at a time and just open it. And he said, I move that we open AI. And he got a favorable response, and he says, well, if we're going to have open AI, he says, we have to have a sire evaluation program, so I move that we have a sire evaluation program. You could have knocked me over with a, with a feather because it just, bing, bing, it was done. The minute that that sire evaluation passed the board, the entire group at St. Joe went to work so that we could get offspring on the ground by that next spring. And that was just a phenomenon that couldn't happen that quickly, but it did. You've been able to use records to identify outstanding lines of cow families within your own herd? We have been able to, with the help of records, identify outstanding producing cow lines. You know, I, go, I keep, keep a few old journals and there's nothing. You know, this is the show winnings. And then I open the journal later on and here's all of these EPDs and stuff 
underneath each animal. It gives me a big thrill to see that. See, the, the, whole, the whole thing is, is developing a goal of what you want to do and then figure out how to do it and then get yourself in gear and do it. We've been weighing these bulls every 30 days from the time they're weaned. We do this for two reasons. First of all, because we enjoy seeing how the bulls are doing. Uh, we're interested in which ones are gaining the best. One of my major professors, Dr. Hazel, says, I don't know how you do it, Dick. But he says, you can get more out of a breed association than I've ever been. I can't even get in the door. And uh, I think it was, I did an awful lot of listening, getting across to them that I respected what they did. I think that's the, that's the key to the whole thing because when I accepted this job at Iowa State, I was to serve the livestock industry and I used every tool that was given to me or that I learned to try to accomplish that. And I think besides the genetic aspect of it, I think I could get along with people and uh, convince them that something ought to be done.